Imagine racing against something that never loses. Welcome to the world of light speed. Light speed, a term that tickles the curiosity and fuels countless scientific endeavors, stands as the cosmic speedometer's upper limit. Clocking in at approximately 186,000 miles per second, it's a pace not just formidable, but, as far as we know, inviolable. This isn't just a number thrilling to astrophysicists, it shapes our understanding of the universe and underpins the very laws of physics. The concept that nothing can travel faster than light is more than a mere limitation. It's a fundamental aspect of the universe. This speed limit ensures that causality remains intact and that the universe remains a coherent, predictable place, at least from a physics standpoint. But why is light speed the ultimate speed limit? Let's dive into the physics behind this cosmic speed limit. Enjoying the journey through cosmic speeds? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our explorations into the universe. As we delve deeper into the enigma of light speed, it's crucial to understand just how light travels so fast and yet remains unseen by the naked eye. Unlike sound, which we can hear as it travels, light is a stealthy speedster, zipping through the cosmos without a sound. It's this intriguing nature of light that makes it both a fundamental phenomenon and a subject of intense scientific study. So what exactly is light? At its core, light is electromagnetic radiation, which can travel through the vacuum of space at the speed we've come to recognize as the cosmic speed limit. It's not affected by wind, it doesn't need a medium like water or air, and it consistently travels at the same speed in a vacuum. This consistency makes it an invaluable tool for astronomers and physicists who use it to measure vast cosmic distances and probe the fundamental principles of the universe. Thanks for watching and supporting our channel. Light travels at a mind-boggling speed of about 299,792 kilometers per second. But what makes this number so special? To truly appreciate the significance of this figure, we must understand that the speed of light in a vacuum, often denoted as C, is not just another number. It is a fundamental constant of the universe, a backbone of modern physics that remains steadfast and unchanging regardless of the observer's perspective or velocity. This constancy is not merely a curiosity, it is a cornerstone that holds together the very fabric of our understanding of space and time. Historically, the quest to measure the speed of light has challenged the minds of some of the greatest scientists. The earliest attempts can be traced back to the illustrious Galileo, who, in the early 17th century, tried to measure it by uncovering lanterns at distances he thought were significant. His experiments, though innovative, were limited by the human reaction time and the technology of his day, leading to inconclusive results. Scene script, enter Albert Einstein, whose theories reshaped our understanding of time, space, and speed. When Einstein introduced his theory of relativity in the early 20th century, it wasn't just a new chapter in physics, it was an entirely new book. His insights into the nature of light and its speed turned conventional notions on their head, offering a framework that continues to guide scientific thought to this day. At the heart of Einstein's revelations was the concept that the speed of light in a vacuum, approximately 186,000 miles per second, is not just a speed limit, it's a fundamental constant of the universe. This speed is the same for all observers, regardless of their motion relative to the source of light. Now let's delve a bit deeper into what happens as objects move closer to this cosmic speed limit. According to Einstein's special theory of relativity, as an object accelerates towards the speed of light, time dilation and length contraction come into play. Time dilation means that time, as measured by a clock moving with the object, runs slower compared to a clock that is at rest. Essentially, the faster you travel, the slower you experience time. Simultaneously, length contraction occurs. This means that the length of an object moving at a speed close to that of light will appear shorter along the direction of motion to an outside observer. This isn't just a theoretical trick. It's a real effect that has been confirmed by numerous experiments. These phenomena are crucial because they underline a fundamental limit. As an object approaches the speed of light, its mass would theoretically become infinite and it would require an infinite amount of energy to move it. 
This makes the prospect of surpassing or even reaching the speed of light immensely challenging, if not currently impossible. Einstein's insights tell us that as you move faster, time itself behaves differently. But what does this mean for traveling at or beyond light speed? Why can't anything go faster than light? It all boils down to the laws of the universe. As we delve into this cosmic rulebook, let's start with a fundamental principle, the equation E equal mc squared. This simple yet profound equation introduced by Albert Einstein tells us that energy E equals mass m multiplied by the speed of light c squared. It's this relationship that sits at the heart of why surpassing the speed of light remains a theoretical mirage. Imagine you're driving a car. As you push down on the accelerator, your speed increases, and it takes more energy to push the car faster and faster. Now, picture this on a cosmic scale. As objects move closer to the speed of light, their mass effectively increases. This isn't just a bit of extra weight, it's an exponential increase. The faster you go, the heavier you become, and thus, more and more energy is required to continue accelerating. This exponential increase in energy requirement leads us to a pivotal point. To reach or exceed the speed of light, an object would need infinite energy, which is unfeasible with our current understanding and technology. This is not just a technological limitation, but a fundamental law dictated by the universe itself. Let's explore some hypothetical scenarios. Scientists have theorized about particles called tachyons, which are said to travel faster than light. However, these remain purely theoretical, with no experimental evidence to support their existence. Similarly, the concept of warp drives, popularized by science fiction, involves bending space to achieve faster-than-light travel. Yet this too hinges on theoretical physics and technologies way beyond our current grasp. In essence, while these ideas are fascinating and push the boundaries of our understanding, they remain just that, ideas, confined within the realm of theory. So, the more energy you pump in to go faster, the heavier you get, making it increasingly difficult to accelerate further. This fundamental barrier, set by the universe's laws, ensures that light speed remains the ultimate speed limit, at least for now. Light speed isn't just a cosmic speed limit, it's a cornerstone of modern technology. As we delve into its application, it becomes evident how this fundamental constant underpins some of the most crucial technologies that keep our world connected and precise. Take the Global Positioning System, or GPS for example. It relies on the synchronization of time signals sent from satellites orbiting the Earth to pinpoint your location with astonishing accuracy. These satellites are equipped with atomic clocks that can measure time to billionths of a second. But why is the speed of light so critical here? Because it allows for the precise calculation of how long it takes for the signal to travel from the satellite to your device. Even a tiny error in this calculation can lead to significant errors in positioning. The constancy of light speed ensures that these calculations remain accurate, enabling GPS technology to function reliably. Moving to the realm of internet data transmission, light speed plays a similarly pivotal role. Optical fibers, which are the backbone of our global internet infrastructure, transmit data using pulses of light. These pulses travel at approximately two-thirds the speed of light. The stability of light speed guarantees that data flows smoothly and swiftly across continents, allowing for real-time communication and rapid access to information. From syncing satellites to streaming videos, light speed is more integral to your daily life than you might think. This constant not only connects us to each other, but also guides us through the physical world with precision and reliability. As we've seen, light speed is not just a number, it's a fundamental part of the fabric of the universe. This cosmic speed limit, set at approximately 186,000 miles per second, represents not only the fastest speed at which information and matter can travel, but also serves as a boundary that defines our understanding of physics. Throughout our discussion, we have explored how light speed acts as a barrier that cannot be surpassed in our current understanding of the universe. This limit is deeply embedded in the equations of Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, which tells us that as objects move closer to the speed of light, they require exponentially more energy to continue accelerating. Thus, reaching or exceeding this speed with any object that has mass 
becomes a practical impossibility. However, the implications of light speed extend beyond theoretical physics into the realms of technology and everyday life. It influences everything from the design of high-speed electronics and the synchronization of global positioning systems to how we conceptualize the vast distances in space travel. Light speed isn't just a limit, it's a guidepost for innovation, pushing scientists and engineers to develop new technologies that work within this cosmic rule. As we push the boundaries of what's possible, light speed will continue to be both a challenge and an inspiration. It prompts questions that lead to deeper scientific inquiries and innovative technologies that can approach, but not surpass, this ultimate limit. Light speed remains the ultimate cosmic speed limit, challenging and inspiring scientists and dreamers alike. Who knows what mysteries will unravel as we continue to explore this final frontier of speed. While the speed of light sets a boundary we cannot currently surpass, it doesn't stop humanity's imagination from exploring beyond. Theoretical physics offers a playground for scientists dreaming of faster-than-light travel. Concepts like wormholes and warp drives, often featured in science fiction, are grounded in real mathematical theories. Wormholes, or Einstein-Rosen bridges, suggest shortcuts through space-time, potentially connecting distant parts of the universe instantly. Meanwhile, the idea of a warp drive, popularized by franchises like Star Trek, involves bending space-time itself to move a spacecraft faster than light without technically breaking the speed of light barrier. These concepts, while still highly speculative and facing enormous scientific and technological challenges, ignite our curiosity and drive forward our understanding of the universe. They also remind us that what seems impossible today might become the science of tomorrow. As we delve into these theoretical realms, we continue to test the limits of our knowledge and technology, exploring not just what is, but what could be. Stay tuned as we journey through these mind-bending possibilities. And remember, the universe is far stranger and more wonderful than we can currently comprehend.